Minister of Finance Mangala Samravira convened a media briefing today to explain about the strike action launched by the Customs Department opposing the removal of the Director General. PSM Charles, the Director General of the Customs, was also present. Regu. Certain people tried to interpret the appointment of the Director General of the Customs to the position of Head of the Revenue Monitoring Unit of the Finance Ministry as a massive political coup. A business mafia in the country handles the customs. There may be officials who assist this business mafia. For example, the two leading illegal trades that deprive the country of foreign exchange are the pepper and the arcanut peddling. They earn millions a day through these illegal trades. The arcanut peddling was introduced to the country during the Rajapaksa regime in 2012. Certain officials in our government also joined these illegal activities. There is a very strong mafia going on. The Director General extensively investigated this pepper peddling. She was conducting these investigations. A strict disciplinary control should be implemented when managing the port. I sought the approval of the Cabinet to appoint her as the head of the Revenue Monitoring Unit as she is an honest official. Those who are afraid of these investigations say that she was appointed to halt these investigations. The newspapers reported on a BMW scam that incurred a loss of 16 billion to the country. So she will take over her responsibilities again. Based on the report the Director General presents in a month's time about the irregularities that take place in the port, I am hoping to appoint a ministerial committee to look into these irregularities. We are already holding discussions for a retired judge to head this committee. We are also drafting the Customs Act that would be in line with the modern world. We will present the new Customs Act and make all these changes during the next few months. <laughs> Yes, we have the names. We will reveal them once our investigations confirm the findings. I have been attempting to do this for one and a half years, but she assured me that the report will be presented in a month or two. Oh. Yes, I even asked her when this happened. I even had a one-to-one -one discussion with her at my place and questioned as to whether there is anyone from the ministry or from my personal staff involved in this. She vouched that nobody tried to influence her. My media secretary is right there. Another one is in the media ministry. I saw, but I have never had any involvement with that person.